Hi everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're taking another look at uh, the Noveski. And I know what you're probably thinking, oh, have you not smashed enough videos out on this platform or this rifle just, you know, so far? Yeah, and I'm gonna get to some important stuff. Um, if you pay attention to the shorts, I do have a VS, VFC M249 gas blowback. You'll see it's missing some parts at the moment. That's because I completely stripped it down because before I bought it, I had some ideas for parts that I wanted to do, um, you know, probably how I'd want to run it. So before I get it on and get on with the review, I've obviously played around with it a little bit. I've just got the thing apart, taking some measurements, designing some bits and pieces. And then once I finish, I put it all back together and we'll get a video on it. But um, I'll take another look at this Noveski. Now, it did pop up in a couple of video comments about the magazine and uh, about it being loose. Now, it really, my magazine well really isn't loose, even with the bolt lock back. Um, let's try an MWS magazine, because I do have one in the Mark 18. About trying that mag, because apparently uh, one of you guys had tried this and broken nozzle. Um, MWS magazine, bolts on empty. There's a little bit of play there, but just to prove to you that that kind of is normal. Um, got an MWS here, it's my Mark 18. We'll lock the bolt back if I put the magazine in. There's actually the same amount of play in the MWS. So it could just be a QC thing, DE mag in the Mark 18 works absolutely fine as well. Um, is this gas? I think we do have a bit of gas in it, so let's try a couple of shots here. Seems to work okay. So that actually looks, I really do like the D-Mag look on the Mark 18, it doesn't match. So yeah, I haven't had any issues with it. I've been playing around with it, shooting it. Another thing people have said is that these shoot really hot. I've seen quite a few places saying that these shoot about 1.5 joules. For me, um, I've only been testing it with 0.3s up to now just because it's what I add to the side. Um, I will obviously use 0.4s maybe, um, a little bit heavier if we can. But with a 0.3, I was getting pretty much bang on, you know, a fraction, a hair's, a gnat's hair over the one joule on a 0.3. So mine seems to be okay. Now, I haven't got any special treatment. It could just be like a QC and a tolerance thing. Um, but for mine, I've had a really good experience. Um, I imagine there are some out there that have had different experiences. Um, I forget the name, so I think it's Red, uh, Red Airsoft or something in the comments was saying that he, I think he got his from Taiwan Gun and it did look a little bit different. It had a different stock and he did have a different magazine. It could just be a case of, you know, a lot of them do have loose mag wells um just you know for mine oh, it's just it is just absolutely bob on so but what i want to do today is i want to swap out the barrel and uh, hop combo the, the inner barrels in these are very short i do want to fit something a little bit longer um i don't have like a off the shelf aftermarket barrel to put in this i normally pick lilac because i really do like their barrels for the price um, so we're going to do that today, and then once I've got a longer bar in there, I'm going to test the, you know, the power and stuff. And then I, I do have something in the works in terms of valves. Um, I also wanted to try. I've got a couple of those guns modify valves somewhere. Um, where I don't know, but I've got a couple of the guns modify valves, which I want to try in there as well, just because I know the valves are a little bit different. Try just a bog standard guns modify valve. Pop that in there and see what the ch changes are. So. We know what it is baseline, it's one joule and a point three, as it came to me. We're going to change some bits. I have a CNC tack charging handle, which I'm going to switch it out for. Um, I know someone out there might say, well, that's not what it came with, with the real rifle, but you know, you're free to set up the rifle however you want. So uh, we're going to pop this upper receiver off. I also had a question about upper receiver compatibility. Um, and I have seen a few people now say that 
you know the upper and lower receivers are cross compatible onto the Marui counterparts. So let's just get that out of the way first. Um, I am using a Mark 18 here just because it's what I've got to hand. So it could be different in the different models. So we have a Mark 18 here. It's all bog standard Marui in there. I'm going to take the DE upper and see if this goes on. So I'm pretty sure the front, yeah, front went in just fine. Um, but what I find with mine is it won't close. So it doesn't quite close enough to get the pin in. And it, uh, I think it sits a bit slightly forward. So the DE upper will not go on my Marui lower. Um, again, you could experience different results. So we can try the uh, Marui upper onto the DE lower. close and let's see if it line up I think I had an issue with this as well so yeah just can't get the pin in um, I imagine it's just the the upper's not closing quite enough so for my um, double eagle Noveski I can't do it it doesn't work so that is something that would be nice for them to address in the future. I have spoken a little bit with someone at Double Eagle about MWSs and we've had a little chat. Um, I know they're working on new MWS projects and, and I'm sure many of you will, will uh, appreciate me. They sent me over some bits that they're working on. I'm not going to discuss that, but I did say, guys, it would be really cool um, the, the rifle in the UK that's probably the most hot right now is the Knight's Armament KS-1. I put that over to them. I don't think they can do that at the moment just due to a licensing thing. Um, but it would be nice if they could build DE again, if you're listening. Build the KS-1. Um, just don't put the marking or don't put certain markings on if you're going to breach. You know, end users are always going to find a way like... If I got this D Noveski and it didn't have the trademarks on, I still would have bought it. You know, it's nice I don't have to do all this afterwards, but you know, it's nothing a laser or a CNC machine couldn't fix. But I'm going wildly off topic now, so let's get back to it. I just wanted to get that upper and lower thing question out the way before I went any further. We are going to be doing um, bits of the trigger box to see what's compatible as well, but for now, Going to take this out. Uh, we're going to be putting this in. We're going to strip the front end, which is a T20. Oh, I don't know where the big T20 is. Let's do the old hillbilly shake here. Oh, I can't remember tightening these up that much. Oh, that one's loose. That one so what you guys should do right now beans are on the topic right double eagle want to do more mws products yep yeah. you guys need to pop down in the comments right now because they will see it i guarantee you they'll see it what rifle should they do um i pitched to them about doing geisley perhaps like geisley super duty that's quite a, uh, a good i do like geisley stuff like a mark 16 um, if they did one of them, I would buy one. Perhaps I'd probably even buy two. They've got to get the rail right though. Um, so double believe if you're listening, that's my pitch, guys. This stuff. Put down in the comments below what you'd like to see or what uh, brand of M4 you'd like them to do. And they will see it because they do watch these videos, which I am so grateful for. Uh, we're going to need some tools here. Uh, will we? We might be able to get away with it actually. I didn't super tight this up because uh, it doesn't really require it. Enough, so I didn't really need to do the gas block, but hey ho. Once we've got that, we can pull this out. We've got a tiny, tiny little barrel here. So we're going to remove this. 
and we're going to be fitting what I feel is the best combo for a Mirui uh, MWS or copy. So we're going to be fitting a Flamingo PSR GBB booking. This is one's a 60. I tend to go with 60s. Yes, you'll get more um, grip on a 50 degree rubber, but I like the slight more longevity and sort of more robustness of the 60. So that's the one that I choose. Um, so we're going to pop this in. We also need a barrel. So let's grab a barrel. Right, found a couple of MWS barrels. That one's got a hot rubber on, so we could use that. But I'm going to use the uh, spare one just because it's already got the O-ring on the barrel. I have to mess around with that. So we're going to take both the little O-rings from the rear off. We'll be using those. I'm going to take our MWS barrel. And again, the only reason I'm fitting a Marui MWS barrel over an aftermarket one is literally just because I don't have one at the moment. I need to order one. But, you know, if if you're putting like a nice barrel in whichever brand you go with, whether you go Crazy Jet, whether you go with Lalax, whatever, just to name a couple, um, you just, you know, use your barrel instead of what I'm using. So the Marui barrel, I'm probably going to say is going to be better than these. Obviously, they're made to a price, but we're going to get this fitted in. So we've got our Flamingo rubber. I'm going to see if this Titan will go in because the arm is a little bit more situated down compared to the MWS. And we're gonna pop this in. Make sure this is all seated. We'll just make sure it's nice and in place. We'll pop the smaller O-ring on first, which just sits at the front of the hop unit and then we're going to put the slightly bigger o-ring that is thinner which secures the hop unit together holds it together for us there we go so now we will be able to hop some heavy bbs tighten in got plenty of extra pressure there should we require it? Good, happy days. If you wanted this to sit a little bit more off, you could just trim the rear part of the arm that hits the hop unit. You could just fold that down slightly and then this would sit a little bit more off compared to what it is here. So that's just a tight, slight difference in part to here. I did actually have a Lalax arm spare as well, but you know, in my opinion, the Titan and Flamingo do work well together. So we've got those parts in, we're gonna fit the barrel in, and now this barrel is gonna to come to exactly where the flash idler is. Good stuff. I think these are a 250 mil barrel. Do I have a, maybe I do. So this standard Marui barrel comes to, crude way of measuring it I know, 250 mil, which is a little bit longer than the AKM barrels. They, I think they're 200-ish, but I use a MWS length, 250 mil length Lalax barrel in my AK and it's just, oh, it's just sublime. So we're gonna fit this in, pop the collar on. And this doesn't need to be super tight, but what I'll, what I'll do eventually is perhaps end up torquing it down and uh, line it up a little bit. I'm just gonna secure the gas block at frame in. It's just the two little grub screws. If my uh, Allen key will go in properly. So one, just lining it up by eye there, have to be super crucial. And then as you put the rail on, you'll see that can go a little bit tighter. Probably too much there. In fact, let's, let's tighten this thing down. There we go. <laughs> let's tighten this thing down while we put a tighten in the hop unit. 
I'm gonna put the screws back in. We have six of them. Again, they're a T20, which is a Torx bit. So we have two on each side, and then we have two underneath. And when this is all secured, the rail stops the barrel nut from coming loose because it can't turn because of these screws. Um, and it situates that pin into the upper receiver so it can't spin. I'm not gonna torque these down at the moment just in case I have to come back and tweak anything. I may have to come back and just tweak that hop arm so it alleviates a little bit of pressure. And there we go, hop and barrel set fitted and now the barrel sits about here the end of the barrel thread is about that far so you're literally talking 10 15 mil so we're going to be good the upper we're going to be putting a i think this is a cnc tack one again without going through all my emails to find the order i think i had it from wgc maybe but it's just a lot lighter and now we can put the gun back together. Make sure everything's nice and tight and rigid, which it is. Slap the mag in. Let's do a function check. Superb. Obviously got the Geisley Automatics logos on there. Yeah, happy with that. So that is how to swap out your hop and inner barrel components. Um, I've been using the Flamingo 60 with a Titan nub ever since I released the Titan nub. Many others, I think, Sniper Mechanics, who makes the Flamingo rubber, he's just done a live, I think, on his Facebook page where he's fitted the same thing. Uh, he's also done some posts on Instagram where he shows off the Titan really nicely depressing the flamingo uh, contact patch that is how you'd upgrade it um i recommend the flamingo 60 and the titan nub and then a barrel of your choice but you are well you know well within your right to fit whatever upgrade parts you like there are many good parts out there to choose from this is just the one i use so thanks for tuning in to another noveski n4 video um you guys seem to like this stuff again i've got loads of stuff coming um I've got another hot rubber somewhere because I want to switch out the one in the MPX because I managed to get some MPX magazines. And that's actually how I came across the Gas Blowback 249, which is going to be upcoming. I went on to um, WGC. I ordered a bunch of MPX gas mags for that so I could actually run it in a game. Put the order in. A couple hours later, I was browsing one of the UK websites, uh, one of the wholesale websites, and saw they had MPX mags in stock and I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I've just done that. What a mistake. Could have had them, you know, within a day or two and probably saved a bit of money. However, I was like, well, it happens now. I do order from WGC all the time. I'm not going to cancel the order because, you know, I've put it in. And uh, that's when I stumbled upon the gas blowback 249s that they had in stock on their website. And that's why I bought one. So that'll be coming up very soon. We also need to do the MDRX uh, V2 parts upgrade video um again i haven't done that for i've had the two kits for ages and i just haven't got around to doing it so perhaps we'll do that as well because i know many of you are awaiting my feedback on that kit thanks for this video from me and bench as always we'll see you in the next one and you know just as a bit at the end for those that stayed i know some of you are going to be screaming you've just done all that and said you were going to chrono it, you know, and see what the difference was. So, Flamingo 60, Titan Nub, and I've put a 250mm standard Marui MWS barrel in. And on a 0.3, I gained 0.2 joules. So, I'm 299 on a 0.3. Depending on what site you're at, many sites run different rules. But that's what I got. So, got a slight increase because of the barrel length. Not as much as I was expecting, you know. I thought going from a barrel that's almost twice the length, I thought we were going to be running stupid power like 1.8 joules or something daft, but we're not. So, you know, 
with just a little uh, adjustment we'll need to make on the uh, the bolt. But there you go. I didn't forget. I put it in the video. Don't always do that. See you guys.